when it comes to tracing a bitmap in Inkscape, image re resolution means a lot. And in this video, I'm going to show you why and um, how to get a better trace. Okay. So I've gone to Google and I've downloaded these two images of the American flag. Now, one way you can find your resolution is when you're doing a Google search, if you hover over um, an image, you'll get these numbers down here, okay, 1280 by 674. And that's what you want to look at. And you really want them to be 500 and above. You can get away with 400 if you don't have sharp edges, like on the stars here okay um you know if you're doing i don't know some character image and um most of it is has curves and not really sharp edges you can get away with 400 by 400 but for something with crisp edges that you need to keep the higher the number the better um so that's one way to find out and then um, also, <clears throat> after you copy it and paste it into Inkscape um, or save it in file import the image, with it selected, it tells you down here at the bottom the image resolution as well. Okay, um, so keep that in mind when you're doing your Google searches 500 and above. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go to Path Trace Bitmap and let's choose colors three. Uncheck smooth, uncheck stack scans, and uncheck remove background because we want to keep the white. And click OK. And we'll move this and make sure it's a group and not the image. Okay. And we'll just move our image over here. And this one, same thing, we'll trace that. This is the group, this is the image, we'll move that. Now I'll go ahead and select these and, oops, sorry about that, put these back and we can close our trace box. All right, now if I zoom in here, you can see that these stars are not too bad. They're pretty, you know, sharp, okay? But that's the 1280 by 674. Now this one was 355 by 355. If I zoom in on this one, look how distorted they are. Okay, that is all dependent on your image resolution. So make sure you have a good number. So let's say I really, really want this image. How can I fix that? Well. You can first select it and ungroup it. Ungroup it a couple of times until it says no groups down here at the bottom. Okay. And then deselect everything by clicking off of the images somewhere. Select this blue and go to path, break apart, path union, and now you have a solid blue piece. Let's go ahead and grab a star and You can move this around to get it, you know, fatter, skinnier. This one brings in the sides. So we'll just go with this one. Now, I'm going to bring this over here to my original image so that I can get the correct size star. Uh, don't move that little um, cross here like I just did. Let's zoom in here. And that looks pretty good. So if I zoom way in, you see all that blur. And that's how come when it traced, it traced so badly. All right. So let's bring this back over here. And now we've got, let's put 
this up here. We got seven rows, one, two, three, four, five of six stars. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got five rows of one, two, three, four, five, six stars. So here's one, hold control and hit D five more times. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just left click on one of the stars, hold control. That will not let it go up and down. It will be straight. Um, keep a horizontal act on the, on the horizontal axis. Boy, I can't talk this morning. Sorry about that. All right, now let's left click and select all of these. Let's open our align and distribute <clears throat> with these three little bars here. And let's go to distribute. And the second one from the right on the top row is make horizontal gaps between objects equal. Okay. Now what we can do is go to path union and let's duplicate that. One, two, three, four, five, four more times. Hold control and hit D. One, two, three, four. And let's hold control and grab one of these and bring it down to the bottom. And then let's select them all not your blue square okay <clears throat> and let's go to distribute and the second row second one from the right is make vertical gaps between objects equal okay now i need to duplicate this top row and let's turn it white and go to path break apart, deselect everything, select one of the stars and delete it. Now let's left click on this, hold shift, left click on all of the other white ones and go to path union. And let's zoom in and let's position it in between these here. And you can select these three top rows and um, center them on a horizontal, nope, I always get that wrong, vertical axis, okay. All right, so now we need to duplicate this one, two, three more times. So control D, one, two, three and hold control and drag this one down to here and then let's go ahead and um, select the red ones and hold shift and click on all the other red ones and let's do path union for those now we can select We can select these white ones without selecting the red one. Hold shift, select these white ones, and go to distribute vertical gaps. Okay. Now with these selected, we can go ahead and do path union. Hold shift, select the red ones, do path union. And we can turn those white. And now you will get good, crisp, clean cuts. Um, but the issue is that if I pull this apart, here's my white layer. Well, I don't want all this extra white here or here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete that. I'm going to make a new white layer. I'm going to grab my Bezier pen. I'm going to have my snapping turned on. And I'm also going to turn on the snap node paths and handles and snap cusp nodes all right and as you can see when i hover over this corner it snaps just left click left click left click and left click and go back to the starting point and as you can see it will turn red inside that node all right <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to click on the color white to fill it. I'm going to hold shift and click on the X to turn the stroke off. 
I'm going to select it and make sure it's a path. And then I'm going to lower that beneath my stars and my stripes. Okay. Now you have an option here. You can, let me turn my snapping back off. You can cut these stars out of this blue here. So you don't have to layer the white on top of the blue. And to do that, just select the stars and the blue background and do path difference. And now what you have is this. You can see through it. Okay. So now you will just um, layer your blue on top of your white and your red on top of your white rather than the blue on top of the white, the red on top of the white, and then the white stars on top of the blue. <clears throat> okay. And you can do this in design space as well. Um, and I'll show you right quick uh, how to align and distribute stars in design space. <clears throat> And my computer is scanning, so it may be a little bit slow. Now, you can't really change um, the shape of the star in design space. You can change it this way or this way, um, but you can't really change it the way that you can in um, design space. Okay, that's just by unlocking that. So, if I go ahead and I make this about a quarter of an inch and I duplicate it one, two, three, four, five, six times and I grab this star here and I'll put it up here and I uh, got this one in this corner. I'll select them all and I'll go to a line. All right. So now. First of all, I want to align all of them at the bottom. So they're all on the same row, okay? They're even. And then I'm going to um, distribute horizontally. And it does the same, same thing that it did in Inkscape. Um, if they're too far apart, just grab this one, move it closer, this one, move it closer, and then do it all again. And when you move something, you want to make sure that you align them to the bottom again so that they're on an even plane and then distribute horizontally. And as you can see, they're closer together. And then you can weld this row, okay? <clears throat> and then you can select it and duplicate it. Duplicate it again, again. And then select all of these and you can align them to the right or the left. We'll go align left, okay? And then you can distribute those vertically, okay? Make sure that they're evenly spaced. And then, you know, there's your, your stars. You can um, bring in, you could bring in this file here after you've traced it and then draw a rectangle over your stars and weld them. Okay. Well, let's just do it. Let's trace this again. <clears throat> if I can, well, I don't think I can copy and paste it from Inkscape. I'm running out of time. I've only got 45 seconds left on this video. Uh, no, I can't paste it. I don't know what I was thinking. So, um, but you can bring that image in, draw a rectangle over the square and weld it. And that'll give you a solid, um, a solid blue piece. Okay. And you'll have your stripes if you've done, you know, what I did here. Um, so that's, you know, one way to get crisper lines, um, use it Inkscape and, you know, you can do the same thing in design space. I hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching and join me for my next video.